What's up everyone, I'm High Voltage GB and I have some StarCraft 2 gameplay for you today. And what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to beat the Elite AI in matchmaking uh, 1v1 with each of the three races. And I'm going to start with Protoss because Protoss is by far the easiest, least difficult um, race to win against. So I'm going to start with that. And as you can see don't know what we're up against it just says random okay so first thing you want to do is get your first probe in and hotkey your nexus uh, if you prefer it's always a good idea and uh, as soon as you have uh, another 50 minerals get your second probe right away and then don't build any more probes after this what we're gonna do is we're gonna select one lucky winning probe and we are going to Wait till we get 100 minerals, build our first pylon, and send him out to the enemy base. So it looks like, there we go, you're the lucky winner. Build our pylon. And when you play against Elite, it's always going to be, the enemy's always going to be completely opposite side of the map from you. So if you're, if I'm up here in this corner, the enemy's going to be down here. So we are going to send this guy out, and look, we have 150 already. We are going to get our forge right away. Don't, still don't uh, build any more probes. We're good with seven right now. What we're going to do is put a pylon right here, right outside of the enemy's ramp there. And just to double check and see what we're up against, Let's, uh, okay, we're going up against Zerg. So this is definitely one of the more difficult races to play against when you're, um, elite AI, no matter what race you are. Uh oh, see, so he already sees we're here, so one thing that Blizzard did with the AI against elite is they made them harder and, uh, made them cheat a little bit, actually. Uh, you can't just go up in their base and I couldn't build pylons up here. You can try it and you'll see what happens. But if I put a pylon up here to start with, it'll send out all of its drones and it'll just take out my pylon, take out my um, photon cannon here. And it would be pretty impossible. So as you can see, this is the strategy to start out with. You just want to build a couple photon cannons right in front of the ramp there. Um, we already know that we saw one drone leave so we know one drone is out there on the loose somewhere we don't know if it's going to come back um, at this point we have three photon cannons we can bring in two more uh, chrono boost in two more probes here ah uh, three why not with three photon cannons they're not they're not going anywhere anytime soon so we'll get three more probes and we'll wait till we get 150 and build ourselves a gateway or whatever it is Let's see here. 150, there we go. What is it? Yeah, warp in our gateway. We're going to get our gateway. Go back to business. Maybe build two more probes. Yeah, we'll chrono boost in two more. We want to start getting a lot more minerals now. And uh, as soon as that gateway's finished, get your cybernetic score. And let's see. Let's build another. This little pylon right here because we're going to eventually move up the ramp and the pylon will it's not going to give us power up here but it'll help us see easier because right now you notice that these these uh photon cannons are only attacking see this little shadow like right here almost the photon cannons are only going to attack stuff that's right here they can't see above the shadow now if i go up the ramp a little bit they can see it now now that i'm standing here they'd be able to attack see i wonder what the range is on there either way um we're gonna put a pylon right here so we can see photon cannon down here i don't know why they did oh it's because they must have built the only reason the ai would move the uh what is that again i, f I forget Anyways, the only reason they would move that is if they built another base. So I guarantee you, we have another... Oh, maybe not here. Maybe it's over here. Let's go see. 
Anyways, our gateway's done. We're a little bit late on our cybernetics core. Let's get that back in there. And we've got enough months for another Nexus, so let's do that. Yep, I was right. We have another base over here, so let's put a pylon down and we're going to build a few photon cannons over here. And we can start getting in our assimilators. So we want to start getting in gas ASAP. Get more probes. We want lots of probes now. Okay. By the way, let's hotkey this to number two. Start getting our gas. Chrono boost in a bunch more. And I'm not paying attention over here. I should have been building uh, photon cannons. Now, say for example, we weren't up against Zerg and we were up against another Protoss. Um, chances are, since Zerg are really fast expanding race with Protoss or Terran, we could have probably won by now just by overwhelming their base with photon cannons. But with Zerg, uh, it's not going to happen. You're just going to have to play it out. It's going to be a little bit longer of a game. It's not going to be a total rush and win in five minutes type of thing. You're going to need to build a few Stargates or robotic uh, gateway or robotics bays or whatever. And you're going to have to take the enemy out with some immortals or really whatever you want. So let's, uh, yeah, it's nothing we have to worry about. Just get in a few. That should be plenty. They are not going to be able to do anything. So, let's see what's next on our list. Next on our list would be Stargate or Robotics. Let's see, let's just go ahead and do Stargate. And I'm not paying attention. I need more you have not enough minerals. peoples. send uh, some probes over here as well. We need more muns, and I'm not paying attention too well right now, so. Yeah, you is fucked. Base is under attack. And another Stargate. Chrono boost in more probes. You have not enough minerals. Base is under attack. Ah. Not a big deal, they're not gonna do anything, but uh, for future reference, maybe build a pylon here and uh, one photon cannon. Base is under attack. Okay, let's get our, uh, not really necessary now, we're going to hotkey this to number three, do a little dance, let's see how many can we build, let's wait till we have 500 mineral minerals and uh, simultaneously build two at the same time. Okay, there we go, and we will chrono boost both of these in. Let's build another pylon just so we can increase our supply a bit because we're going to start mass producing uh, void rays. Base is under attack. We are going to need lots more gas too, so let's keep up with that. Cybernetics, and we can increase our air unit damage too, just for funsies. We're gonna have more than enough minerals and gas, it's not even gonna matter. Oh, look at that guy. We have full power. 
have fun with that. Base is under attack. Channel the light of fire. Base is under attack. Heavily increase our supply here. Why don't we go ahead and get our fleet beacon? Oh, flight beacon, fleet beacon. What is it? Fleet beacon. Actually, we might not even need this. Yeah, we don't need a fleet beacon right now. So let's just cover ourselves with two photon cannons. Uh, let's go over here, get another Nexus in for fun. Okay, let's start. You have not enough minerals. Get into real work here. is under attack. Upgrade complete. Like I said, if you were playing against Protoss or Terran, you likely would have just expanded your, like I did here, expanded your uh, uh, pylons and photon cannons all the way up into the base. Now I can't um, I couldn't have done that by the time I would have made it this far. They would have overwhelmed me with roaches, so. When you're playing against Zerg and only Zerg, uh, you want to get a couple Void Rays or really whatever you want. Get some Colossi, get some Phoenixes, whatever, Immortals, whatever you prefer. I prefer Void Rays and Phoenixes. Uh, they just seem to be faster. So that is my overall strategy. And now we are mass producing, not mass producing, but we're getting quite a few of these guys in here. And then after that, we are going to start destroying everything. Yeah, we don't need you anymore, so you can come down here. Base is under attack. Base is under attack. We are going to send all of our newly built probes this way. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it. There's the surrender already. So, that's it. Beating Elite AI with Protoss. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.